So recently Atlassian launched this uh, new feature on uh, Jira classic projects and that new feature is uh, roadmaps. And to be honest, I'm not really sure when they did this. I think uh, I think it was uh, probably in November. So what I was uh, doing, I was looking at this uh, this post um, on uh, roadmaps. Now this this particular pa- page, I'll uh, of course share the link. It says uh, create, manage, and visualize your visualize your work on the roadmap. It talks about uh, the roadmap that you can have on. Uh, your classic uh, Jira projects. And uh, I thought I'll uh, take a look at uh, the roadmap because I have uh, done quite a lot of uh, work on the roadmaps. I have made plenty of videos on next 10 projects. I have been talking about a portfolio. I have like a complete series on uh, different things that you can do with the uh, advanced roadmaps. Uh, of course, it was known, uh, known as portfolio. And now with this new edition of uh, roadmaps on classic project, I would, of course, uh, like to share uh, how it looks like. And uh, for for enabling this, you need to go to your uh, board, any Jira software board, I believe. Now, if you look at this particular project, it is nothing but a simple, familiar Jira backlog view where you have your issues uh, in the backlog. And of course, you can manage your sprints. On the left-hand side, you have versions and uh, epics. So we all, we all know how it works. And uh, uh, one thing that people were asking about was the roadmap. Now you can go to the board settings and uh, if you take a look at the very last option called roadmap beta, you have the option to basically uh, enable it. And that is it. You now have a roadmap. Now what all you can do with the, with the roadmap, based on uh, the page that I was reading, it seems like it is um, basically uh, uh, quite similar to what you can do with the next gen project. And uh, although this particular page says that the following information applies only for the classic projects, but it looks like it is quite similar. So let us take a look. Let us let us uh, spend some time on it. Now, after enabling the roadmap, I believe uh, you need to go to your uh, uh, sidebar the project sidebar and you have the roadmap here. Now, of course, you can do a few things here. Like uh, you can see here that my roadmap has already picked up the epics and the view. I mean, the, the first initial impression is that it is actually like an extend project. Now I can create one more epic. Let us l- let us see. Let us spend some time. Um, so let us say you want to do something in or maybe by February. Let us say Q1 2020. And uh, let us say you want to launch the version two of the app by quarter one. Now you have a new um, epic that you have just uh, defined and you can change the dates or rather I should say you can drag and drop, uh, not really drag and drop, but you can basically use this dragging feature. And you may want to, let us start the work somewhere in uh, January when people come back from their vacation and you want to work until maybe March, some sometime, maybe, I, 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 I like keeping gaps uh, in between, like it shouldn't be 31st of March. You should allow some time in between, I believe. There should be some gap. So you have a new epic. Now, what else? If I click on this, uh, this epic here, it will open the familiar interface where you can uh, I believe uh, not define and create uh, the stories or basically child issues under this epic. You can do that from here. Like for example, you want to, uh, let us say, um, create some stories. So I'll probably not be very creative. I'll simply type in story one. I'll select my show type as story. This is my story one, maybe story two and uh, story three. So you can start creating these, epi- uh, these stories under the epic. And uh, you can see here that uh, I believe uh, the roadmap will also start showing you these, uh, these stories. Now this is all good. Maybe I want to create one more. Why not? So let us say you want to launch uh, version three by 
Q2 2021. So, uh, because we want to, of course, launch few things, and uh, I think it should have been uh, Q1 2021, not 2020. 2020 is now over, almost over. Now we have uh, these two epics, and of course, these epics are uh, high-level uh, um, activities, and uh, you want to, of course, break it up into. Smaller activities, of course, using uh, stories or whatever issue, issue types that you may have. Now, the good thing is that you can also uh, create dependencies. So, if you want, you can uh, create a dependency like this, I believe, and it it works wonderfully well. Um, the good thing is that you can also um, create these dependencies. Uh, uh, I mean, when you when you create these dependencies on the on the on the on the, on the view here, this actually makes things quite easy. To visualize, because uh, when you click on the dependency, it says that the launch launch the v2 version of the app uh, by this date or whatever. Now this is actually blocking the other epic to start the work. So basically, if if this gets delayed, the other epic will also um, it will also get delayed. Now you can of course create a, a dependency the by simply dragging and dropping. And it works quite quite well in my opinion. I think, uh, as compared to not having any roadmap, you now have a roadmap where you can of course uh, do further planning of the work. And uh, from from this particular uh, uh, planning particular this this particular planning page or a road roadmap, this particular roadmap view, you can start uh, assigning the stories to maybe your uh, your uh, Team members, and uh, it actually makes things quite easy. And and, and the good thing is that everything is uh, is done on top of your Jira existing Jira project. So apart from having your uh, your backlog, we of course uh, plan the work in uh, in a way that is of course uh, very familiar. We have these epics, and uh, the epics that you create. And the epics that you want to uh, work on, they are all uh, now on this particular board. And of course, uh, from this page onwards, you can uh, you, you can then uh, start uh, creating um, the sprints. Of course, uh, when it comes to that stage, when you reach that stage, when you have to create a sprint, you can. But when when it comes to making a plan, high level plan. You can do that from here. Uh, there are, of course, uh, other things that you can do from this particular page, like uh, you want to maybe focus on, uh, maybe you want to do a quick filter kind of a thing. Uh, you can type in the name here, and uh, you can uh, do that. You also have the option to share this particular uh, roadmap with anyone. You can export it in, uh, let us say. Uh, so let us see what we can do. So we can export it in. Uh, in We, we can export an image. I believe you have the similar feature. We we did we did this I uh, think when we looked at the next gen projects. So same thing. Of course, uh, uh, it is easy and uh, very very handy. You can uh, uh, if you want. You can. What is this today? Okay, so today is of course talking about this line, and uh, you can filter it by status. You can filter it by the issue type. Uh, maybe you just want to focus on. Uh, I guess. Uh, So stories, so you you can uh, focus on that, and you can of course change it to something else. Maybe you you want other things to be up to be up, like visible in the, on the plan. So this actually quite looks it looks quite good. I mean, let us say if you want to create a bug, you can also create a bug. Let us say bug one, whatever. whatever. And now if you filter, I believe it will not show you the bug, only the stories. So you also have the view settings. Now epic. Display options. Do you want to display all the epics, or complete epics, or maybe incomplete epics? So you you have the option to refine the view. You can uh, monitor the progress as well. For example, uh, so by by default you have two options here: uh, dependency and uh, progress. So if you're working on, let us say, this epic here, you have the option to uh, open it in a separate view. But if you want, let me just try to close it, and uh, let me open one of the story. 
So when you basically start the work on uh, these stories, maybe you want uh, these stories to. Uh, of, of course, in this case, we have just a simple workflow, so you can change, start changing the status of uh, these stories. I mean, uh, of course, you have multiple ways to uh, view the progress you have burned on chart, but uh, this will also give you an option to monitor the progress. So you have this uh, progress uh, bar here that will uh, show you um, very nicely, visually, what is the uh, overall progress. Now, if you look at the page here, I was looking at the page and trying to understand. So what is the roadmap? You all know what is the roadmap. Enable and disable the roadmap, which we just did. Set up a roadmap, create epics. We just did that. Add epics, add issues to the epics. Okay, we know how to do it. Customize your, customize your view. So you can filter, you can uh, take a look at the view settings, manage dependencies, see progress of uh, <coughs> of the epic. So when in, when you basically uh, start the work, you can also see the progress. So this is all good. I, I quite like it. And I think, uh, I think uh, this was definitely needed. Now you have uh, a lot of options uh, when it comes to creating a roadmap. You can do it using next in project, but next in projects, uh, I mean, all the people liked next in projects because you, they have the capability of, uh, I mean, you, you, you are giving your project administrator an option to modify whatever they want in the next gen project, not whatever, but almost everything. Uh, like, you know, they can add fields, they can add is like their own uh, uh, issue types and they can um, now change the workflow as well. We looked at the workflow part but next in projects are uh, still a bit lightweight now you have classic uh, projects and they can i mean you always had these projects and there are so many things that you can do with a normal jira project now with the addition of the roadmap you don't really need any other app if you just want to have a simple lightweight uh, visualization of your work you can now do that uh, quite easily. I mean, you have the option to, br to simply change the schedule on the plan. Visually, you can take a look at uh, all the stories under a specific epic. And uh, you, when, when you're done making this high-level plan, you can then go to your backlog and you can, of course, uh, do further work. But this was definitely needed and I think uh, I, I think people will definitely appreciate. I think I am slightly late uh, in the party because I am looking at the roadmap features. I think after maybe a few weeks. Usually I'm uh, always monitoring uh, the new new features and uh, new things that are launched. Um, but today I got a chance to look at the roadmap. It is still in beta, but I guess uh, you, can, you can start playing with it. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.